Hello, teachers. Today, I took the Google Certified Educator exam, and I did level one. And I have some tips for you, um, because I know a lot of uh, you went through the training with Kelly. So here's what I learned today. First of all, it was really long. You had to do 20 multiple choice uh, drag and drop items. And then there were 12 scenarios, and each one of those scenarios had various ta uh, tasks to uh, complete. So like four for each one of those 12. So it took me almost the entire three hours. And I finished with two minutes to spare. It was super long. There were no surprise apps. So the ones I had were sites. I had to create a site with various things on it. Uh, sheets. There were lots of questions on sheets, so make sure you understand the filters and formulas and you're able to do charts. So one thing that I had to do, which I didn't know how to do before, but I figured it out, um, was how to take one of the charts and put it on a new sheet. So make sure you know all of those for sheets. Um, calendar. On calendar, make sure that you actually uh, know how to make how to create a new calendar because all the calendars I normally use they are automatically created through the Gmails so make sure you know how to create a new calendar okay on Gmail okay make sure you can create labels and assign certain emails to those labels or labels to the email that is um, and also add tasks to email so make sure that you know how to do that um, on Docs, okay, you have to comment, and then you have to copy and paste stuff onto the Docs. So I had trouble with that. You can't just copy and paste. You had to do some uh, Shift Command V, I think, on my Mac. So it took me forever to figure that out. So I lost a lot of time on that. On slides, make sure that you know how to comment on slides. Um, also, you have to be able to embed videos on there and, you know, just create a basic slide presentation. Um, on YouTube, okay, make sure that you can create playlists and share them with people. And then you have to make lots and lots of forms. So Google Forms, make sure you know them really well. So that's the ones I got. So you may get different ones, but that's what I had to do basically. Um, just prepare to get stuck at one point. So it happens to everybody, I think. So make sure that when they give you this new Google username and password to do all this with, that you write it down. Okay, you've got to write down your password. It's super important because invariably you're going to have to log back in. Um, so in the middle of one of my tasks, it just plain wouldn't let me continue. So I had to wait to get help from the Proctor U people. Um, if you have a choice, don't even use them because you're less likely to get stuck. Um, so they had to show me, well, they sent a little tutorial on how to change the settings on my Mac. So I had to go on the privacy settings on my Mac and I had to um, uncheck Chrome on there. It was weird. Um, I forgot to go on incognito, but it wasn't a problem. It just let me do everything on, you know, it was fine. Um, if you're a nervous person, I don't know, this test may not be for you. I became super nervous when I realized just how long this test was. I was fairly calm during the multiple choice drag and drop. That wasn't too bad. There was one of them. I had no clue what they were talking about. But other than that, I knew pretty much what was going on. Um, yeah, when I was in the middle of all these tasks and I realized, okay, I'm only like on scenario three and I'm on task four and I mean, time is ticking. I just about wanted to cry and just turn it off, but I did not do that. I did have to go to the bathroom twice during the test. So I just got up and went to the bathroom in the middle of the test. Um, okay. What's really annoying is going back and forth between your instructions and the tasks, it is super annoying. The instructions are really long and you're not gonna memorize all of the instructions. So as you do this, so you have to go back and forth and back and forth. So next time, if, if I failed it, and I have to take it again, 
um, I'm going to make sure I resize the windows so I can see both the instructions and my task. So make sure you pin the task so it doesn't disappear on you. So the only time I really had a problem with this was during working on docs because every time, okay, I would work on my doc and then I'd go back to the instructions and then I went back to the doc and now there it was back in the Google Drive. So make sure you pin it. So then I guess that won't happen. And make sure you actually know how to copy and paste in a doc. So yeah, it took me forever to figure that out on the Mac, but I did finally figure it out. So I probably lost like 10 minutes fiddling with that. So did I pass? I haven't heard from them yet. I'll keep you posted. Um, I'm probably going to have to take it again. But um, yeah, just take it and make sure you know you know what you're doing. So if you've never set up a Google site, okay, just actually set one up and post stuff on it. Make sure you know how to add pages on your Google site. And don't think you have time to look the stuff up. Okay, you will not have time to look up anything. So you're just gonna have to know it. Um, on the sheets, okay, make sure that, that you know how to do sheets because there were lots and lots of questions on sheets and forms, okay? Make sure that you can do forms. All right, that's all I have for y'all today. So this is Ruth. And um, I hope y'all pass it.